Glow ups are absolute creep. People showing before and after photos, but the only thing that's different is the artificial filters and the makeup. Well, in all seriousness, glow ups have truly lost their meaning. Before, I would see glow ups of people trying to improve their lives, and glow ups are a simplified way of describing someone who's made a big difference in their lives, who've lost weight, gained muscle, got stronger, changed their lives. But nowadays, glow ups are just a form of clout, a form of making others feel envy. Before, glows were so appealing because it inspired us, it motivated us, it gave us the belief that change is possible with the hard work. But nowadays, most glow ups are absolutely cringe. You take one ugly photo of yourself, put on a bunch of makeup and filters, take another photo of yourself, and bam. That's cool. No! But there's no change, there's no inspiration, there's no motivation, there's absolutely nothing that allows people to be inspired by your change. Instead, people won't feel inspired, they'll feel envious, they'll feel jealous of you rather instead. Globes have turned from a positive influence to a negative influence. The five points that make fake globes absolutely detrimental are these. Number one is unrealistic standards. People may look amazing on social media, but in real life, they might look completely different, might even look worse at some points. Some people might look like a complete 180 from what their social media profile suggests. But this also creates unrealistic standards. You see, when people take pictures on social media, that's what us, the consumer, believes that that's the normal. And so people try to reach that, even though sometimes it's absolutely unrealistic. It's not possible at some points. Instagram models are creating unrealistic standards that are becoming the now new normal and this creates a whole bunch of other problems. The second point is increased beauty standards. Now with social media pictures being now the new normal probably look better than what they look like in real life and this creates new beauty standards. For fitness for example, you aren't considered a fitness influencer if you don't look like someone like David Laid or Alex Eubank. However, they might be using steroids, for example. They have the best lighting, they have the best pump. They are in the best situations. Their Instagram pictures are at their best. However, people sometimes compare their best with their own worst because they might think that these pictures are the normal. In fact, sometimes these fitness influencers don't look that way in real life. Simply beauty standards now are unrealistic. They're normal, but they're unachievable which doesn't make much sense. And this affects the third point, which is validation and self-worth. With unrealistic beauty standards being a new normal, you're gonna compare yourself to these unrealistic beauty standards. You might think that you're not good enough. Even if you're comparing their best with your worst, you might think that you're not good enough. And this leads to whole different problems. And finally, fifth is a loss of authenticity. Globes nowadays aren't real. You see, the whole reason that globes were so popular before is because they're a form of showing growth and character. Globes had more than meaning to just physicality. Sometimes it was the mindset. Maybe they were poor before and they got richer. Maybe they were getting bullied before and now they got a ton of friends, etc. However, the new form of globes, there's no other meaning than other than just the looks. Yeah, looks are important, but if you don't have any other meaning with the looks, then maybe you didn't grow as a person, you just put on a bunch of makeup. So modern day globes aren't just cringe, rather they're just damaging and just a straight up lie. But what makes a glow up inspiring and motivating? Because there are many glow ups that are such inspiring, such inspiration, such motivation, to us normal folks. Here are three factors that can determine if the globe is real or if it's just cringe. Number one is personal growth. Did the person achieve anything? Did they overcome anything? Was there adversity? Was there challenges that the person had to break through and shatter through in order to see the light? There are infinite possibilities for change, but one thing's for sure is that there has to be some sort of growth, some sort of development in the character. Number two is time. If your glow happens in a Bruh. singular day, Bruh. Ah, Bruh. that's this suspicious. Because change and growth takes time. Not days, not weeks, not even months, sometimes years and decades at times. Number three is what the globe is based on. You see, looks are important, but that shouldn't be absolutely everything. If your globe is just about makeup, yeah, blah, 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 you look great. What if you take off that makeup? You're still gonna look like an ugly pig. However, if your glow is more than just looks, for example, you might be richer, might be stronger, might have more connection, might be living a better life. That is what makes a true glow up. 
A nice side effect is that you, you're gonna look much better. It wasn't the main purpose, but hey, it's a nice side effect. I'm still a big advocate for changing your life, so please subscribe as I'm going through a change in my life as well. My journey on self-improvement is one that you should be following, and if I reach 1,000 subscribers in 2024, I'll do something extremely special for you all. Click on these videos right here, YouTube things you like, and my self-improvement journey. And I'll see you all later.